Esme is a twin and she's got a twin sister called Eliza. She stayed in hospital till she was eight months old, had about 10 operations and had a, a really sort of tricky start really. I knew from two months that she was profoundly deaf. She was about two and a half, three before I got a second opinion. They sent us to Manchester Cochlear Implant Centre and offered us bilateral cochlear implants. To be told then she's got to have more surgery on top of all the surgery she'd already had was really scary. I was noticing as Esme was heading sort of in towards her teenage years that she was getting less confident about her deaf identity and just being able to communicate, you know, with the rest of the world. It was hard to talk to with people, but when I went back, I probably I think I feel about bad things. When I went to I feel tired, I probably I never work. Cole has been amazing. She's been, you just stayed in the bedroom, been as good as gold, and Esme feels completely safe. She plays with me. <laughs> yeah. It made me think she made me dead. She made me help the big poor, hearing people get more out with my friend. She is my best friend. She's your best friend. Aww. Yeah, she's like her best friend, but she's also someone that's always there for her, like obviously no matter what's going on. I'm quite proud of her. It's kind of like I feel that sense of accomplishment that she feels. It makes me happy that she's happier. Cola's just brought complete joy to the whole family. Aside of her being such a clever girl and being a hearing dog, she's made every, everybody happy. She's just fantastic. I love her to bits. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to get upset. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>